Welcome to Romany's Realm, I'm Romany and today we have a look at a brand new colouring book. It's literally just been launched today. This arrived today. I'm very excited. It's Terry Pratchett's Discworld colouring book done by Paul Kidby. Now Paul Kidby is the original Discworld artist. If you're an old fan of Discworld and you've seen the maps and the companion books and all those, he does all the artwork for those. And he's done a lot of book covers. There are other artists who've done book covers, of course, but Paul Kidby is the one that the original Discworld fans know and love and I absolutely adore his artwork. Not just his Discworld work but his other work. If you want to check him out he's on Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash Paul Kidby. I'll put it on the screen and put it down below for you. This just came this morning, it was an Amazon pre-order so I don't know if it's available on Amazon or if it's back ordered or whatever, I haven't checked. But if you want to get it it's about £10 on Amazon give or take. Mine was a little bit less because I booked it like when he first announced it. The day he announced it I pre-ordered it. <laughs> Inside we have some very in-depth illustrations like literally the kind of illustrations he puts on the books. We've got some of his pencil work but most of it is inked and you've got a little bit of writing that goes with each um, artwork because the way Paul works is he takes a snippet of the story or the writing or the explanation or whatever goes with the story and he illustrates that. So although it's double sided, if you did want to colour it with Copics to be able to take some of the pages out, you're not really losing a huge amount uh, other than the back of the pic pictures and you could always scan that to keep it as a reference. Uh, but you've always got it on the back of your picture anyway. But all the main illustrations are on this side and all the ad hoc kind of illustrations and quotes and things like that are on this side. So you could pick and choose which ones you kept or you could just do it as a full book. As you can see there's some that have got darker backgrounds. The luggage, I love the luggage. This is actually, this is a double spread of dragons. I don't know if you can see that clearly. You see the dragons there. And at the back of the book, there's a couple of pages that are actually pre coloured to show you what it looks like. And it's actually got the swamp dragon colours. It's exactly the same image. So you could follow exactly the same image, or you could do your own version, whatever you wanted to do. This looks like it's. It could be something on toned paper like coloured pencil or something perhaps pastel on coloured paper I don't know he works in all sorts of different mediums uh, he does everything from digital art whoa that made your eyes go funny <laughs> he does everything from digital art to traditional just ordinary graphite so he's pretty much a man of all trades so Sam Vimes. The great thing is that if you are familiar with Paul Kibbe's work you know all these characters so you would know that that was Susan for instance. The small gods. My favourite Granny Weatherwax. Love her. I might have to scan this one and reduce it down to put in my book of shadows. I don't condone scanning stuff that's under copyright but if it's for personal use so just because you want to keep a second copy of it so that you can do it again or colour it again or use it in a different way for your personal use then that's that's fine. I wouldn't for instance copy this and sell it that would be naughty wouldn't even copy it and give it away, that would also be naughty. But if you're copying for personal use so that you can reprint it and use it in a different size or something like that, then that's fine, go ahead. Oh, the little dragon, Errol, he's so cute. 
The little dragon turned on vines a gaze that would be guaranteed to win in win it the award for dragon the judges would most like to take home and use as a portable gas lighter. <laughs> the librarian of course so I'll just flip a bit quicker through the rest of it oh, cats, cats are nice <laughs> pedigree, what's a pedigree? Mr Huggy I think he is <laughs> Leonard the Quirms Mona and Lisa <laughs> it's got some really detailed ones so if you wanted to practice shading faces look at these they're amazing and there's a lot of the similar faces so like this one and this one are almost identical faces they've just got different expressions so even to use these as templates to copy the expressions um, to practice drawing that would be pretty cool I'm a big fan of poor Kidby I think he does amazing work this one's also in the back. Again, three witches. With oh, there's apparently a lot of them are in the back because that's the one we were just looking at with all the wee free men. And that's the small gods. Rincewind, Soul Rider, Death and Cats. So yeah, there are some of these. There, there it is. So that's the line work. And that's the magic he did with the colouring. He's incredible. His, I mean, his line work is amazing anyway. But his colouring is just... Oof. Fantastic. Could learn so much from this artist. He's amazing. That's also in the book. That's that one. Again, the, the librarian. You can't see him very well there. He's printed differently on this page, so it cuts through the left hand side of his face, whereas on this one it cuts through the other side. There's a bit more gap between the rook and the crow, rook and the skull than there is here. In fact, I think it's differently sized actually, because the elephant's quite close to the edge there. But on this side it's a lot further out. So it's just a different sized picture I think because it goes all the way to the bottom there but it's got a white edge here so slightly different but not so different that you couldn't copy the colours if you wanted to for those of us who do goth planning this is a great one you could use as a divider or some background or something if you wanted to in your planner and this <laughs> Otto Creek <laughs> Death of Rats, obviously. Can't have a book without the Death of Rats. Veterinary. Nanny Og and Granny Weatherwax again. <laughs> One of the quotes from the book. You always used to say I was wanton when we was younger, said Nanny. Yes, you was, of course, said Granny. But you never used magic for, you, for it, did you? Didn't have to, said Nanny happily, and off the shoulder dress did the trick most of the time. Right off the shoulder and onto the grass, as I recall, said Granny. <laughs> Just fabulous. Absolutely awesome artwork. I can't wait to get going with this one. And of course you've got the pictures at the back, which I've just shown you. Which you could you could use as reference, or you could you could even take them out of the book and put them up. I might do that with a couple of these. It's almost worth for for the price of the book. I mean, I've got the book for te like ten pounds on Amazon. For the price of the book, you could get two and have all these prints. Or, of course, I think Paul Kidby actually sells prints, but they don't do them this size. They do like proper big ones, good quality. They're not on thin little paper like this 
So there you go. That is the Terry Pratchett's Discworld colouring book by the amazing artist Paul Gidby. Did I mention that Paul Gidby is absolutely amazing and one of my favourite artists? Because he is. <laughs> so uh, run, don't walk. Go and get one of these. It's fabulous. Like I said, I got mine on Amazon. It is UK priced. Uh, it's nine ninety nine UK. I don't know how much of that is in American ease anymore. It could be anything. The pound keeps changing. I would guess around $12. Uh, Orion Books it's printed by. But you can probably get it if you need international postage. You can probably find it on the book depository who do free worldwide postage. No, I don't get plugged for saying that. I'm just saying, you know, if you can't find it on Amazon because it's a UK book, bookdepository.co.uk almost certainly have it and they will do it as an international order. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that quick look at my new colouring book. Hopefully I will get to show you some colouring in it very soon and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye!